everybody welcome back again if you are new hi my name is Christina and we like to hang out talk about wine play with wine make nice recipes if you are already a subscriber and you've been hanging out and you like to watch my videos hi I'm glad that you guys came back again that makes my heart whole um, so yeah today what we're gonna do is actually three months ago we made cherry wine a three gallon batch and I need to put it into my carboy now. Um, it's been sitting for three months. I've had a lot of things going on that I haven't been able to really keep up uh, with videoing, with college, kids, everything. So I'm trying to work better on my schedule to make sure that I am devoted to making more content for you guys. So I really appreciate your patience if you guys have been waiting for more. That you guys see on this side, I have another thing of wine here. I never got to, I filmed it, but I never put it up because it was all the way back in October. And I kept talking about Halloween and I don't think, I don't know that you guys would want to see it if it's not Halloween anymore. Um, but if you do, let me know, comment down below and let me know if you still want me to upload the video of this recipe that I did. This is Concord grapes um, using the frozen concentrate. And this is five gallons and we're gonna also put it into the carboy. This has been sitting for about two months. <laughs> so it's, it's time people. Um, and one thing I do want to tell you before we get started is it is okay to let these sit for a while. It's not going to hurt our wines or anything like that if they sit for an extended amount of time. Um, as long as you know it stays sealed and we're not getting bugs in here we should be pretty good. I have some new gadgets we're also going to be using today. Um, this is called the Thief. Uh, we're going to see if it works to measure our al alcohol level and to also test the wine and make sure it tastes pretty good before um, we put it into the carboy. And also this gadget is called auto siphoning. So it's supposed to just siphon it for you instead of having to suck on the other end of the hose to get the wine to start flowing. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm excited to play with these today and see how they work. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna get on my step stool and we're gonna go over opening this up and we're first gonna start with testing the wine and tasting it and see what we think and how it looks. So let's do it. If you don't see part of my body, it's because I'm on the step stool. I'm short, I'm only five foot. <laughs> All right, so the bucket is open. Um, I'm gonna get a bowl to put the brew bag in because it's still in there. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the bucket when you first open it so you kind of have an idea of what it is that I'm looking at. Um, also, when I smell it, you smell cherry, but it smells like phew, a liquor, like it is strong. So <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little worried, but that's okay. We Maybe we just need to tone it down a little bit. and and we will, I'll show you how to do that if it's necessary. So let me go ahead, show you what it looks like while I'm taking out the brew bag. And so I have a trusty bowl here and this is what it looks like inside of the bucket. All right, so that's what it looks like inside now that it's been sitting for three months. And we are gonna, it's slimy, ew. <laughs> kind of gross okay but we can wash our hands so it's gonna be fine so we're gonna pick that up just kind of let it drip there for a minute before you just throw it over so we're just saving all that good juice so now I'm gonna transfer this over to the bowl all right I made a little bit of a mess but that's okay so that's what it looks like now it's really beautiful we do have some sediment, which is expected, but that's gonna be okay. That's why we're putting it into the carboy. Hey friends, I am so sorry. Um, my camera stopped filming and we had already done the thief part and you know the barometer testing, but because you didn't see it, I'm gonna do it again for you. So you just put it down, raise it up, and it just takes it for you. There's a button at the bottom of these that is what collects the wine. So what you do is you drop in your barometer 
and mine read 0 0.999, which means it's completely finished. Don't brew it anymore, you're good, right? Um, so with this special thing as well, when you want to taste the wine, you just push down on the button and it'll fill the glass up. So this thing is not contaminated. I have disinfected it. So what we can do is just put the rest of that wine back into the bucket by just pressing on that button. And then voila. So now I could just throw this in the sink. Is it has a lot of sediment, but that's the reason why we put it in the carboy to let it sit and all that heavy stuff's gonna fall to the bottom before you start racking your wines into bottles. Now this wine is strong, but when I taste it, oh my freaking gosh, the flavor is phenomenal, fantastic. Bing, 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 great A. That's coming a lot when it, <laughs> that's saying a lot when it comes from me. So I'll taste it for you guys so you can see. Mm. I feel like this is the perfect holiday wine. It's got that red, beautiful look to it. The alcohol level is high, but because there's so much body behind it and you can taste that cherry, it's phenomenal. It's almost got like a tangy sweetness to it. So it's got like a little bit of a sour, but sweet, like a tartiness, sweet tart if you want to say it like that or or that what is that other candy the the sour and sweet candy that cuts off the girl's hair and then acts all sweet at the end that's what this is so this will mess you up but you're also going to enjoy at the same time i already moved on to the next step as well which wasn't filmed and that was to put the candom tablets in the carboy, which you need one candom tablet for each gallon of wine, and this is a three gallon jug. So you needed to crush up three, put it in there. Um, you needed a half a teaspoon of potassium sorbate for each gallon of wine. So we needed one and a half teaspoons of potassium sorbate. So we did all that. Now we're moving on to the next step. So the next step is going to be the auto siphon. So I'm excited to use this. It's disinfected. Always make sure everything's disinfected before you just start messing around in your wines. So we're gonna auto siphon everything into the carboy and go from there. So if you don't see me, it's cause I'm on the step stool cause I'm short. Grab your drinks. And I hope that you enjoy this part because it's the most satisfying part for me at least, especially when you know that you have a really good wine and it's perfect and all you wanna do is just let it settle so you can just finish it off and drink it finally. So grab your drinks, enjoy it with me. And let's siphon. So now that I have this going in here that you can see, the most important part is to watch the bucket and make sure you're not sticking this device like all the way down at the bottom of the bucket because obviously that's where all the sediment is. So you can see here that everything is filling up. Um, it makes me happy to make videos for you guys. I don't make money off of this stuff. I don't get any type of gratitudes or whatever. So. The ones that are super nice to me on here, I really appreciate all your comments that you guys leave me um, and you know, the ideas that you guys come up with to help me find new recipes, it really means a lot to me. Um, especially when it's just something you do for your hobby. You're not here getting paid for anything, so rude remarks are not gonna get you anywhere. Although, I do respond, no matter what comment that I do get. Um, just because I'm that type of person, I want I would want somebody to respond to me if I have a question. And so if anybody out here has any questions on how to do anything, I am so happy to answer anything I can for you guys. So here we are, the bucket's gone down quite a bit and this is what it looks like from my perspective. So you can see where it's filling up. 
and it's awfully pretty. Don't judge my steps and my stuff because my family and where I come from, we are people that paint on our own, we fix things on our own, so we don't hire a lot of people to do things. So I'm a hard working woman and I'm a handy woman and these are my handy steps. And that's just who I am and that's a part of who I am. So anyways, yeah, this is this is what you're watching. You don't want to get bubbles like this. And you always want to have everything going downhill. That's why I have the carboy a little bit further down. I made a little bit of a mess. Um, that's okay. I filled it up a little bit too much. But when we pull out this tubing, you see how kind of the wine goes back down in there. Um, you can take this and just put it back in that bucket so we have less of a mess. So I'm just going to clean this carboy off because I did make a little bit of an overspillage. Okay friends, so I have made it this far with you guys and we have our lovely carboy here and I have a new fresh airlock with the rubber stopper here and these are both disinfected and the last thing would be is to stick that nice nice and firmly in there and we're gonna take this do like we did with our other buckets and everything and put it somewhere in a dark quiet location nowhere not where anybody can see it not let the sunshine hit it just let everything settle back down so um, I will see you guys in a couple months with this one because I like to take my time with this we already put the potassium sorbate in there that stopped it from fermenting or making more alcohol we didn't need to add any more sugar um, so we're just gonna let it do its thing and just settle settlement takes some time the finer and nicer you want your wine is the more time you want it to sit because all that funky shit floating around in there is gonna all the way to the bottom that's what we want and then we can do a test and then i'll show you guys a test that you know when it's time or when it's not um for a darker wine like this we'll have to take like a flashlight and if you can see the flashlight through the other end then that's probably means that the sediment is down at the bottom and it's pretty clear enough to put into bottles of wine um so yeah we will be back doing this one in a month or two months at the most hopefully not but i just want to let you guys see like where we're at with the process Thank you guys so much. It was lovely seeing you all here. Let me know if you do want me to do a video on this one. This is gonna be obviously a lot different for me because I've never used juice concentrates before to make wine. So I'm gonna open up this one next, but I'll put it in a separate video because I don't want this to be too long for you guys. Um, so if you just wanted to hang out, see what happened with the cherry wine, cheers to you for going this long i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart um, another thing to know is comment down below give me some recipe ideas i love recipe ideas anything that's not with honey because honey in the united states is very expensive and i just i can't go that route right now <laughs> so if you if you can have some other ideas please drop them down below comment like the video it really helps me know that I have a community behind me and that's what it's all about. Community, right? So we are a community of wine people and I just want to let you all know this is a happy brewing. Oh, and sips by the way, just, just take a drink. Bye, happy holidays.